Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the ColourPop Cabana Club Palette. So there are a bunch of really fun and bright summery colors in here. This is what the palette looks like. I'm really excited. I'll probably try and use this bright blue shimmery shade because look at how gorgeous that color is. Even with all these colors, I'm still going to try and create something more wearable out of this palette. So let's get right into today's video. So I have my foundation and concealer done already, so I'm just going to start out by priming my lids using some NYX concealer on a flat concealer brush. And now just to add a transition color to the crease of the eye, I'm going to use my Morphe M456 brush. I'm just going to go into this matte brown neutral color and just place that on the outer corner and crease of the eye. And then I'm going in with a fluffy M441 Morphe brush and just buffing that color out to help blend it in a little bit more. And using another fluffy Morphe brush, I'm going into the shade Bikini, which is a matte nude pink color. I'm going to place that right over top of the shade that we already have applied. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this matte purple shade called Cha Cha Cha. Place that on the outer corner very lightly. I don't want this to come up too heavy. Now I'm going to go back in with my concealer and just cut the inner half of my lids. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M166 brush and I'm going to go into the shade High Season, which is just a light shimmery color. And I'm just going to place that on the inner part of this concealer. And then I'm going into the shade Copa Cutie, which is a pink shimmer. I'm placing that up to the concealer line, but I'm leaving a little bit of space because I want to add that blue shimmer right here. And now I'm using the shade Cool Off. Like I said, I'm going into that blue and I'm just going to use my ring finger because this pigmentation of this color is just so, so gorgeous. And I'm just going to place that right onto the center of the lid just for a little pop of color. I'm going to go back into that white shimmery color on my flat brush again and just fill in the rest of the space on the lid with this color. And I'm going back into the shade Bikini and reapplying that on the outer corner of the eye. In this blue and just tapping it lightly with my finger to help kind of blend it in a little bit more. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going in with a Morphe M506 brush and I'm using the purple matte shade again and dragging that along my lower lash line. And now I'm just going to go in with some Tarte Black Liquid Liner and just add some winged liner to this look. I'm just going to draw a line starting at the half point across my upper lash line. And then I'm going to flick that out. And then I'm also adding some black pencil liner to my waterline. And for lashes today, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina lashes. And I'm just going to apply some lash glue to these and pop them on. And then I'm just adding some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Now on to face makeup, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and just bronze my face up. And I'm going to clean up my contour with some Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Powder. And then I'm just adding some NYX Cosmetics Blush in the shade Pinch to the apples of my cheeks. Dusting all this powder off. And 
And for highlighter, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. I'm just going to place this on my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this to my brow bones. Now for lips, I'm using my ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the shade BFF. And I'm topping that off with my ColourPop Lippy Stick, and this is in the shade Fab. So I just added some clear gloss to the lips just to add a glossy finish, but you could definitely leave it more matte, but this is the finished look. So I'm really impressed with the color payoff of the shades in this palette. I think that this blue color is so gorgeous and so, so highly pigmented. You could definitely make some more wearable looks in this palette, but you could also really make your eyeshadow very colorful with this one. So it kind of just depends on how you use it. But I really liked it and I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!